Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yuan again from Taizu Kimono. I think it was last Thursday that I posted a picture tutorial of a Obi Musubi on my page. And actually a couple of people did request that I may turn it into an actual video tutorial. Now this Musubi is uh, sort of more or less for common, but I don't see why you couldn't wear it with a Yukata as I'm wearing one right now. I'm actually shooting pictures for my Kisuke Seasonal Challenge. So I wore it with that one and today I am turning it into a tutorial. Now pretty much all you need is of course um, the Obi. I'm wearing this one. I do want to mention um, the longer the Obi the better. I think this one is a little bit shorter than 4 meters and I definitely noticed the difference between that uh, picture tutorial and the first outcome that I had. Other than that, I have a um, sundry Himuro here in my hands. However, the original picture tutorial had a Koshi Himuro instead of a sundry Himuro. So you can use either one of those. I prefer this one, to be honest. And then you also need an elastic band. It can be any elastic band, um, the one that you prefer or the one you currently have. And then there's always your Obita. I'm currently already wearing one, so either with or without elastic, it's totally up to you. So, without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got one end of my OB here. So I was just going to measure out, just until about your armpit length. So I have it here. And until my armpit. At that point, we're going to put onto our stomach. As you can see, I already have one of my obita here. So if you do that or won't, it's totally up to you. I just prefer using two rather than one. And then simply just wrapping around, tightening as I go, as usual. And then make a knot. So if you look down you can see one very very long end. We'll leave that one just for now. We're going to work with the shorter end. Now what you, wa what you want to do is kind of make a sort of uh, bunko knot. So if we go on top. There's one end and then simply just folding it on top of each other. One end is closed, one end is open, and then folding it horizontally. So you have like a mini bow. And that one we're going to tie off with our elastic band. You could use your Sanjo Hima for this also, however I prefer the elastic band. So I have this part here done. We're going to leave it that. And this is where the Koshihimo or the Sanjuhimo would come into place. I've noticed that they have tied it underneath the actual bow. However, I, with my Kitsuki seasonal challenge, I tied it on top. And somehow that worked out far better than I imagined. So that's what I'm going to do now again. Okay, just turning it around. What I've noticed with the Koshihimo is that the tide is just in with the middle and front, and then making a knot and using the layers that's one that way. So just so that you know how they tied it, the, the person who made the original picture tutorial. So now what we're going to do is fold the first part in half, making a little loop. 
so you can see it here. You have to pull all the layers of either the Koshihimo or the Sanju Himo and place it on top so that you can see the loop here. And with that, just pull the bow through that same loop you've just created. And there we go. That's your first bow. So as you see, with the Sanju Hume, I still have two layers of elastic. And between those is where we're going to put the remainder of the OB. Now with this, it really depends on how much fabric you have left. What I did was folding it backwards. And then you pull it so that the, uh, the layer on top just folds over itself. Now depending on how much fabric you have left, you may have multiple layers. Honestly, style it how you want. I mean, the tutorial was simply not clear enough for me to figure that out on my own without any instructions because it literally didn't have those. So you have like two layers here. And then simply rearrange the bow a little bit more so that it sits to your liking. Just going to readjust a little bit. See, there we go. It might need, to need some tugging a little bit. Oh, before I forget, now uh, I say that I didn't really pull the, the the loop part down. It's still quite big. Now, I don't mind it, but that's um, what I see now. Before you make this part, pull down a little bit more. I think I can do it now with the under layer. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So now it's much more taut than it was before. So yeah, that's the initial bow part of the Masubi Dan, the actual tying. And now, as always, we're going to move it to the back. Also, be careful to grab the layers of either the Koshihimo or the Sanju Himo and then move it around. Otherwise, you kind of will be messing up the entire musubi. Just tuck it in neatly. I always pull my obi down. It's something that I do personally. You don't really have to do that. Okay. Let's all done in the back. You can rearrange it a little bit in the mirror afterwards if you see that it's a little bit lopsided. And lastly, I'm going to put in our OB eater. If you haven't put it in already or the one underneath like I did. And there we go. Real easy, real fun, and perfect to wear whenever you want. So with that, I will let you guys go, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.